So, speaking of clusterfucks, man, <laughs> with the duos, Brandon Ingram, I see you got it. Oh, down. he was horrible. He was horrible. No, but he's coming off an injury, though. He was coming off an injury. I know, bro, but it doesn't seem like a good fit, bro. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm not gonna lie, bro. But I also think I also think the idea of a young duo with him and Zion is over, because I think he's at his prime now. Oh, so you're saying Zion is like this is this is my spot? I I, I need Dude, these I, shots. I, is there a debate? Nah, is, there's no debate to that. But I'm wondering, can Brandon well, Ingram uh, evolve? Can he evolve? Well, how his much game? more? Like his peers have passed him up. Like, we, we, like, all right, Jalen Brown is a multiple-time All-Star. Jason Tatum, multiple, uh, multiple-time All-Star and an MVP candidate. Um, Donovan Mitchell, first All-NBA team. Um, who else? Devin Booker went to the finals. You know, guys who were around his draft class are one or two years behind. One, one year either in front or behind. Um, De'Aaron Fox, you know, playoff player, All-Star. So I think even Sabonis came out of the Brennan Ingram draft. Um, yes, Sabonis, another guy. So my thing is, bro, he's reached his prime. How, like, how, how much more are we really gambling on him? Yeah, you're right because he hasn't even made All NBA yet, right? No, he just made one All Star selection. He's 27. Man, this is not good. Yeah, he was. Damn, he could have got a max deal too had he made All NBA. Um, for yeah. him, I would say. <laughs> Yo, they're going to have to. He's one of those players that's just, it is what it is. That's his game. It's 20 points per game. He's not really going to make, he's not going to, I know. He doesn't have a post up move. He's no. not going to, like, you know, he's not an off ball player. Yeah. It, it is so what it is. He's, he's a guy who needs the ball in his hands. That doesn't work with Zion. Uh, there was moments in the Pelicans where I'm watching them, they're just standing there. Yeah, it, it, it creates a real conundrum at, during crunch time because. The Pelicans, they're going to have to... Mm-hmm. They can't rely on Zion to make a shot. You know... Dude, him and Jose look great together, him and Zion. They Give they, them they a real do. point guard. They do, but it's kind of a conundrum with them too also because they're both poor shoot, poor free throw shooters. You know what I'm saying? And then... You no, but I'm giving that, an example, right? Brandon, Give Brandon Zion Ingram, a legit point. <laughs> you add on top of that, Brandon Ingram is not a spot of shooter. That's the problem. No, they're not, he's not an... But that's what I'm saying. Like, Jose, an average point guard, a rotational point guard, is able to, like, shine with Zion on a pick and roll and get him to his spots. Imagine you give Zion, a, like, a legit off-ball point guard, a guy who can move around and get his shots up. You know how much that'll benefit both parties? Yeah, but who who do you have in mind? You think they should draft one, or you think they should... Uh... Maybe Trey Young, maybe draft one. Oh, but this Trey, draft Trey isn't Young all that hot. Nice. Yeah, like... You need a legitimate point guard that can get him his points, bro. Uh, I don't know. If Sacramento shot the bat. I would have loved to see De'Aaron Fox there. And even DeJounte Murray, I think, would fit. Yeah, but come on. Let, like, let's be realistic. It's New Orleans, man. What free agents are they really going to recruit? They have to trade. They have to trade. That means they have to give up a lot of shit. They have all those draft picks. But, like, let's be honest. I feel like this this new whole New Orleans thing is... is it's just it's just like a you know a little circus that comes to town. Like eventually it's gonna leave, and that and, and when I say leave, I mean Zion's eventually gonna leave that. He's gonna leave that, but I think he gives him more lay room. Yeah, yo, but we really... because he hasn't been healthy. Like I I don't see a world where Zion leaves anytime soon. So with the time he's giving you, you might as well just give him a legit legit roster. But let me ask you a question: When was the last time we seen New Orleans actually sit there and? build up a legit roster we haven't seen that since we have we never really seen that no yeah it's, it's always seems like hey let's just get this guy they can we can sell tickets with this with this bunch of you know no i th- get these that bro players. that's what it always yeah, seems like i get that but it's like all right you like i think they, they the way they've been able to rebuild i, I want to say it's horrible but it's nothing special either right um, you guys never, they never really looked on health, but at this point with Brennan Ingram, he, he's not, he's not your second star on your team anymore. Uh, I don't see it as that. Hey, I don't think you can compete with any other second star in the West. I think the West has better second stars. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., Anthony Davis, uh, DeMontis Sabonis, 
um, Paul Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns, Paul George, um, James Harden. Who else? Who else could I name, bro? I mean, yeah, but what does Ingram do well besides score? Nothing. Yeah, that's the problem. But like. that's the problem. It cuts into it cuts into it cuts right into uh, Zion Williamson's possessions, you, bro. That's that's been the problem for a while now. You, you kind of need Zion to have the ball. Hmm. And Zion's a good off-ball player. Don't get me wrong, right? But if there's no one to set him up, it's no point. Yeah, Ingram is not going to set you up. Ingram, the problem no. is he's not even going to post up. Yeah. yeah, there's no post moves. There's no re even rebounding. Rebounding. Is no, he's like history. a Mike. He's like a Michael Beasley kind of player. Oof, that's not gonna. That's not gonna really work. And Michael is a good one on one player. Yeah. So, what is his contract situation? Um... Like given CJ, I don't think CJ is a reliable option too. Oh my God, CJ took way too many. But I, I can't blame him. They had no other option. CJ had to take all those shots last night. That shit was brutal Bro, to watch. The fact is, it was like at one point I came to the realization that Trey Mur Trey Murphy Jr. might be the second best player on the court. Jose Alvarado and Jose and Trey Murphy were the second best players for the Pelicans, bro. Mm. Second and third. You know how disappointing that is. Yeah. Like Trey Murphy showed up in the fourth. Yeah, and then, when he hit that, yeah. And they still have to pay CJ McCollum. Up until 2026. God damn. Yeah, and CJ sucks. So they need to bring a real playmaker in. Jose and Trey Murphy, they're good options. But they just don't have a real playmaking guy. They don't have a real playmaker in the Pelicans right now. And I think Point Zion can work. But the problem is you have no shooters around them. Or no shooting second option around them. Uh, wasn't... Wasn't, um... Who got injured? Was that Trey Murphy or Herbert Jones? One of these guys was supposed to be their shooters. Herb Jones is still in the starting lineup. Um, they had a guy. Maybe it's Hawkins. Talking about the rookie? I believe. I believe Hawkins. They have. They have a couple guys that can shoot threes. Yeah, Trey Murphy can shoot. Don't get me wrong. A yeah, lot of these guys. I, I, I believe can Hawkins shoot. also. Hawkins also. Hawkins, Hawkins can shoot. Trey Murphy can shoot. It's, it's yeah, Dyson shooters. Daniels who can. Dyson Daniels. Yeah. Is, I believe he's the person. He might start from time to time because he's a good defender. But I don't. I don't think he could shoot. But dude, my thing is these aren't real. These aren't real second options. Yeah, but when you look at their roster, they, they have way too many guys they're paying. CJ McCullough, yeah, thirty-three do. million. Trey dollars. Murphy. Um, you got um Brandon Ingram, another thirty-six million. Up until 2026. It's, I, I mean, think Murphy's going to pay too. Uh, other than Trey that, Murphy? Uh, yeah. no, Trey, uh, Murphy, Murphy's under a good deal. He got an extension. Yeah, yeah. Not, but regardless. Uh, he got an extension? Yeah, he got an extension, no? Nah, it looks like he's still under the uh, rookie scale. Oh, okay, okay. Either rookie scale but or he's getting paid like $4 million a year. But dudes, regardless, man, like they, there's no like, they have a good. Look, I like the role players, but they need a real second option. Until then, um, the Pelicans will just be like a fit to eighth seed. Yeah, yeah, I think like, I, I think it's the CJ McCollum thing. Uh, it looks good on paper because CJ was next to Dame, but the reality is that CJ on most he's good, a lot older. No, it's not even his age. On most good teams, even in his prime years. CJ, he was once a big again, man. nah, like I said before, CJ would be in that role of Mike Connolly slash Jordan Clarkston. That's, yeah, that's that's a real harsh truth for a lot of fans. Some of their like second co star guys, they really should be in those roles if if their team if their team is competing year in, year out, deep into the playoffs. And CJ McCullough yeah. is one of those guys, he needs to be in a more reduced off the bench, averaging 14 points a game role. I agree, bro. Yeah, because out, you know, outside of Portland, I could have never seen him getting that uh, that same role that he had next to Dame. I, I couldn't yeah. see it. Taking all those shots, averaging 20-plus a game, I'm just like... I think Terry Stout's offense was just catered towards those back the back courts. Yeah, but CJ, once he left Portland, he was never going to get the opportunity again. Yeah. And you seen it last night. The shots he was taking... 
it was like yo bro like that but you know i don't once again i don't blame him because they they didn't really have any option no they didn't bro but like i said bro you like at this point they have to move on from i think at this point you kind of have to do a minor sh- like a pivot yeah but what do you think about zion do you think like his body type injuries is just something that's always bound to happen yeah i think so yeah man it's he look he yeah. look he looked great last night i'm not gonna lie I was excited he, he lost the weight yeah he did i was excited and i think that's him. another thing i think now this is a boost for him to actually like keep his balance up but i feel like his build his body type these type of i think he needs to learn how to, to shoot happen. too he needs to learn how to shoot a little he was taking a couple of uh, jumpers yesterday. I was shocked. He was taking a couple of jumpers. Yeah, but I feel like he needs to like he needs to really get comfortable being outside of the paints. I like his aggressive style. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. But he needs to learn how to like maybe you know, shoot. He needs to learn how to maybe shoot outside, shoot the mid-range, shoot the three. It makes it easy on his body, makes it easy on him. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's tough because Zion once again, he's just He's just one of those guys, like, you could tell he's used to playing like that, but after a while, the 82-game season is going to wear on those big-ass legs, man. Yeah. That, 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 uh, is it, what is he, bow-legged? I think he's bow-legged. So, it's going to be bo- tough. He's bow-legged? Yeah, like, um, like, you know, like, you know, like, the, um, certain people, like, it's like their, their knees don't, or their legs don't really line up straight. Like, yeah. you, like you see the way he wobbles when he walks? Yeah. Yeah, he's 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 naturally like bow legged. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I I've never really seen another NBA player be like that with, with that size, 260 plus. I've never seen that before. See, it's gonna make him lose a lot of weight, bro. But also, I think it hurts him a little bit because of how physical he is. Yeah, I feel like he needs the weight. That's a double edged sword. Yeah. He needs a weight. Like, I, I, a lot of people slam him for it, bro, but yeah. a lot of the points he gets is off of physicality. Yeah, it's because of the weight. Like, yesterday, LeBron and AD did not want to fight him, bro. Yo, but I'm not going to lie. LeBron was hand- handling him good, though, but AD... Oh, dude, he took that charge? That was f- awesome. Yeah, but AD, AD but in didn't the fourth, that. <laughs> in the fourth, they put Roy Hachimura. They told Rui, yeah, hey, figure this shit out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they told Facts. poor ass Rui had to try to figure it out, bro. Facts. Yo, I'm telling you, yeah. AD, AD's big ass did not want to deal with that shit. Bro, is Anthony Davis a superstar? Like, I've thought about it. I just see him as a like a second option, like a star. Yeah, yeah, he's a solid second option. But you know, that's if you can get him to play all all the games. You know, that's when you. But yeah, I've thought about this shit, man. This guy has a more of a Ferrari, but drives a Camry. Like, uh, <laughs> more. My bad. Body of a Ferrari, but uh, engine like a Camry. Yeah. For sure, but he's always been like. Yeah, that. yeah. 